Congratulations, Rich. You're Thank you. Pretty, uh, delighted with the win. Yeah, delighted with the win. Um, and the performance in the type of game. Well, you know, obviously, it, it got tight. We, we, had a, we had a lovely start at 18-0. But even at that point, I, di I didn't think there were too much in the game, you know, in terms of the, uh, the way both teams were playing. You know, I certainly felt Catalan had, had absolutely turned up to play and were probably facing a, a Catalan team that their performance were probably better than it's been for the last two or three weeks. Uh, so, so we knew, you know, we did know at half-time, even though we had a, a nice lead on the scoreboard, that it was going to be a case of, who did it better for longer and uh, you know while I thought the second half for them first sort of 10-15 minutes you know the game lost its way a bit and you know it became pretty worn out and teams weren't weren't doing too much with the ball and, and dropping off sort of defensively a bit and then when, when it got tight uh, you know I'm really really pleased with the way our boys held together and, and came through the other side which which I think you know from a you know, from a confidence point of view, to be in a tight game um, and, and bring it home and bring it on well like we did, uh, you know, is very pleasing. You um, didn't have the best of preparation, did you? Losing Alba and, and one not seem to be the way they uh, dealt with that. Yeah, it threw, threw us around a little bit. We, we couldn't sort of name our team until team one day. Sean rolled his ankle and you know, just, you know, the ensuing sort of 24 hours, it... it it was swollen to a point where we didn't think he could make it today. Um, and Arva, you know, is always the case when you have an overseas player living over here, very tough one, uh, in, a, in a family situation. So he's had to, he's had to fly back to New Zealand, um, uh, you know, for a fairly urgent family matter. Uh, he'll be back on a plane, I think Monday or Tuesday. So he'll be back and, and available for next week. So, so yeah, that that threw us around a little bit in in terms of. You know our bench and how we started, but but you know it, it's a team game, and we just said to the players in there, you know we have got some cavalry on its way in, in terms of Arva coming back. Obviously we signed Reese Martin this morning. Um, you know Petteru's back, Jones is back, uh, so we we got some troops coming back, but we got some short turnarounds in there too, and this, this is going to be a team game for us. You know getting fit blokes that are good to go out on the field and, and doing a job for each other, and I, I can't sort of stress that to our players enough and, and at the moment they all seem to be buying in. You know, we, we talked about sometimes it, it's a bit of a pride thing about game time and stuff like that, uh, but we're having to work our bench in, in what's fit, you know, what we see at that moment in time. So the boys are buying in. I still think we're a team that we've, we've probably got our best football to play. Um, Robert Louis, his impact on our team this week fairly plain to see, you know, he came up with a with a play what created the Conrad try that, that put us out in front and, you know, I think as we can strike up some more combinations with, with Robert um, and certainly work on defensively on our right side a bit more, we, we feel as a team we can only improve and, and to have everybody sort of fit and fighting for spots at this time is uh, good too. Louis' presence seems to sort of ease the pressure on Milo a bit, it's nice to sort of have two genuine out and out half backs out there as well. Yeah, it's, st it's st still a way to go. Um, and we still felt kicking game in the first half. Adam Cuthbertson probably came up with our best kick of the first <laughs> half. Um, but, but we know they will improve that. And, and you're right, to, to have someone that is, a, you know, is an out-and-out -out footballer in our team um, and you know, vision, composure, right play at right time, all that. And I actually thought Liam Sutcliffe had his, his best game for a fair while too, playing back row. Thought he run the ball really, really well and defended strongly. So, so yeah, like I say, I, I'd like to think that, you, you know, we're not, we're not blasé about our league position saying, you know, I know we've moved off the bottom and we're certainly not blasé saying, um, oh, there's plenty of games to go, we'll be all right. Far from it. We're working hard. But I actually think as a team, you know, we're, we're quite excited by it and we know we've got plenty of improvement in as yet. So, uh, crowd were great too. Sorry, mate. Cra crowd were great, I think. You know, for for the guys that are new to our team to experience that and come through and finish how we finish, I think you know that you can't underestimate what a lift that gives to our players. That was what I was going to ask you because they were tremendous even before the atmosphere, before the start was yep. fantastic. It, they'd have excuses to be nervy, wouldn't they, the fans? But they aren't. They were they were right behind you today. Yeah. Oh, they w we can appreciate the anxiety around, and when you sat at the bottom of the league, you're you're open for that. You know, it, it, you know, is it the Retention uh, and the signings, the coaching, the players—we we can wear all that. But on game day, 
to turn up and, and experience that. Um, and you know what happened after the game, the, the reception the players got, and the last sort of five or six minutes of the game when we knew it were in the bag. You know, it's a, it's a special place to play. Medmerin was the captain. He yeah. Didn't show up live today, didn't he? He was outstanding, wasn't he? Yeah, he's led from the front for a while. Um, we said when we made him captain, a bit of conjecture about Trent earlier in the year. Uh, and his position within the club, it's fairly well documented. He's had some some, some very difficult uh, personal issues to deal with uh, of a family nature. Uh, but his commitment, um, getting in the trenches with me, um, his influence on other players, and, and and I guess his determination and desire to do something about where we, you know, where we're sat. Um, you know, so it marked him out as a stand uh, as a standout candidate, really. And, and I thought he really rose to it too. It's great to get him and Rob Louie off the mark um, you know, for his captaincy and Rob's debut. You mentioned the games left, Castle for the win, Hull Car up next, two massive games. You must feel the lads, if you can win those two, then you're, you're in a great position. <laughs> uh, e every week at press conference, this is a big game. I think they're all big games. You know, I think they're all big games from here on in. Uh, but the ones we're looking forward to. You know, we, we're absolutely looking forward to them. Well, Who's gone? Not sure. Maybe, maybe Tuesday or Wednesday, I believe. I can't. I can't sort of can't sign a contract on that. But yeah, Tuesday or Tuesday or Wednesday. And I saw, saw him play play a fair bit last year. You know, both reserve grade and first grade. You know, he's, he's got plenty of attack. He's very mobile. Um, you know, he's a uh, he's a ninety. Oh, don't quote me on the figures, but he'd be touching ninety percent as a goal kicker. Um, you know he's, he's a good age too, so uh, I think he'd be a tremendous signing for his plays on both sides of the field, play in the middle if we need him to. Uh, so there's some versatility, in, some, some versatility in there too. Do you envisage him being ready to, to go straight in on Friday? Don't know. Day? Yeah, don't don't know at this moment. Fingers crossed, all being well. That's what we're hoping for. But it, it's just uh, as we are at this stage on a Sunday, it's too early to say just yet. What about Harold yeah, just rolled his ankle. Physio's not overly concerned, but again, we'll see how he pulls up over the next sort of 24, 24 48 hours. I'll say it's a short turnaround. Uh, unfortunately for us, you know, we have got some fit troops, so what, you know, I, I guess my job is to make sure we're not carrying anybody that, that's not good to go. I'd, I'd absolutely rather go with, with fit and hungry players than guys that are being patched up. I don't think we, you know, we, we're forced into those decisions at this moment in time. But he's obviously a big player for us. Um, well, it's different going into uh, going into work on a win rather than a loss. I can tell you that <laughs> Monday mornings or, or Saturday mornings are always a whole lot different. Um, but it's very tight. It, it's just all it's just all very tight, and everybody's got to play each other. You know, all the sort of bottom bottom five six teams. I mean, still fourth spot is closer to bottom th than top at this moment in time. So two or three wins can you know. Get you viewing it differently, and a couple of defeats gets you looking over your shoulder again, and over your shoulder. And I said for a while, Phil, that th there's been t plenty of twists and turns already, but but we've just got to control ourselves, mate. And uh, I said psychologically, I don't think we've been training or playing like a team um, that looks like a bottom of the league team. And I also think um, mentally, we we haven't been in that place. Uh, having said that. I think that's probably fair to say for some of the other teams around. You know, okay, I don't look like they're playing like a, a bottom of the league team. London keeps surprising everyone. Um, so yeah, it's it's game on. Just ask you about Harry Newman. We all know what a talent he is with the ball, but last couple of weeks physically, it looks like teams have had a right go at him, and he, he seems to be thriving on that. Have you seen a development in him on that side of his game? Uh, well, when when you get a young player with Harry's talent, I might have said this a couple of weeks ago. Um, they're used to getting the ball and running around and, and doing what they want. So when you get to first grade, obviously, you get asked a few more questions, uh, both offensively and defensively. And I, I think Harry's, you know, he's a good learner. He wants to play first grade. He's obviously a tremendous athlete, uh, but he's learning these, you know, some of this stuff week by week. And there's times he's learned it the hard way. You know, he's probably at fault for that, for that second try. You know, he, he, he mucked up a couple of times last week defensively. Um, but if, you, if you've been a young player out of the team like that and send him away every time he makes a mistake, he's never really going to get any better. So so it's important for us to try and get Harry um, understanding a little bit on the run. Uh, 
But having said that, you know, I don't think I'm throwing any secrets out there that teams are coming down our right side a little bit. Having said that, I'm seeing improvements in him. Uh, uh, but most importantly, the improvement um, he wants to improve. You know, he's working really hard to improve. He knows he's in a in a league now where being able to catch and run and score three tries, th there's a lot more to the game than that. But he's a good kid, and you know, I think he's going to be. I think he's going to be a terrific player. You know, we're, we're sad to lose Callum. Um, you know, unbelievable servant. Um, but I think the path's there for Harry to be a centre forward for the next 10 years.